Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to another RC Conspiracies podcast. We are going to be talking about a couple of new things that we're hearing about, and uh, there's a little bit of um, stuff in the air, so we thought we'd get together and talk about it and have a little fun with this. So if you're joining this and it's not live, say tomorrow, then I'll put time code in the description so you know where to jump to it. Give us just a second and we'll get this thing kicked off.
Hey, we're back. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That was weird. That was totally weird. Okay. Um, so we <laughs> I just started going live, you guys, and we hadn't even really kicked it off yet. And I got kicked off the internet and the whole everything just went black. I was sitting here all by myself. It's raining outside and complete darkness. So, and then it just popped back on about 10 seconds later. So I don't know conspiracies or what are going on here, but yeah, it's uh I computed the aliens. They are interesting of stuff, you guys. Acts. Interesting stuff. So now I've got to figure out uh, none of my stuff is still sharing. I, all the stuff I had pulled up is gone. I had to re-log into, into my uh, internet browser, live stream, all that. The, the real bummer was that everything was com connecting, but my computer wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi, so I had to reboot it again after it came back up. Ah, such is life. Wow. Well, um, let's just, I guess, jump into it, huh? <laughs> so what are you guys thinking i'm pulling this i'm gonna pull this stuff up here there's definitely three things that i want to talk about tonight the first one being the fur tech mini monster truck the first one being the ask seal scx24 bronco and the first one being the new At arma exb box that rc driver has so all of them are something i really want to talk about so they're all number one to me and I'm super curious about all of them. So, um, where do we where do we start? Let's um, let's see where I pull up on my uh, my faces book page. Um, let's just go to the home and see what we got, and then we'll start sharing, and then we'll go from there. So we'll just kind of roll through this. Uh, and let's just do it share screen <laughs> all of this was set up it's not set up anymore all right oh i really want these how do they know that i was looking at these when i was at uh cabela's the other day we were out fishing the other day so i saw on several things we're just going to scroll through here and see what's uh what the stream is looking like on the face the Facebook here. This is weird because it doesn't look anything like it did a second ago when I jumped on. Everything was the new Bronco. So I thought that's where we were going to start. And now they're all okay. Here we go. Now they're all hidden. Bull Gear says tomorrow. Look at that. A red, like a white or silver and a blue Bronco. Looks like they've got headlights rocking on all of them. And from what I could see, the way that the, um, even from there, so Axial started the tease for all of this, right, guys? They posted over on Instagram. Let me just get everything going again that I had pulled up here. Uh, sorry about this. This isn't how I wanted it to go down. Um, but Axial, which I already had pulled up earlier. Doo -doo, that's not it. Right here. Had posted this little teaser right here. If you click on the video, you can get it to pause. And that's what I was doing. So I was pausing. I'm like, okay, trail grappler. But I'm looking at details here. And like the detail of this definitely looks 24 scale to me. Um, and then there's a, some definitely telltale signs. This, even before people leaked it, this looks Bronco all day long. You know, I'm seeing the lines of a Bronco. And then right before this had popped up, this is the release date, which is tomorrow. We saw the worm gear axle, definitely SCX24, knew that was coming. And then even more stuff started hitting. You know, people are finding all kinds of, they found this image. Um, there's been even more. So we'll talk about that. So I actually, this is the other thing I want to talk about is the monster truck 124th kit. There's lots of, to talk about with this. I actually have my prototype of it that we can talk about as well. Um, and I saw Matt Copeland said that he wanted more from this, but we'll talk about that because this, this is more than any of the SCX 24 ones out already for a couple of reasons. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. So we'll talk about that. 
Uh, I, I kind of want to stay on the SCX 24 for a minute. I'm trying to find those posts. Um, we'll, we can jump over to the group pages because we'll see some definitely in here. Um, scrolling through and seeing what we got. What in the world is that mod? Armor Crate and Outcast. Interesting. Um, so in the conspiracies group, we've been talking about kind of the idea that something might be coming from Axial. And here, actually, Lee from BullGRC posted a few things in here. This is where I took some screenshots from the Axial video, seeing that they added the scale details to it. This intrigued me because I was looking at the window lines, and this didn't look like stickers making this outline around the window. So it made me start wondering, is this a hard body, or is this two pieces of Lexan? What did they do different that these aren't the, on the same level or plane like typical? Here again, the Bronco shot. And then this was the real clincher with the uh, SCX-24 right here. All right. Let's see what you guys are saying. So I saw Matthew Copeland said, hey, Peter's in here. Casey, Heavy Metal RC, Joe Girding, Psycho 13 Garage, Kurtz RCs, RC Amigos, Buck Val, Jeff Makovich, uh, Trailer Trash. Tons of you guys are in here already. That's awesome. Thanks for jumping in. Um rear view mirrors as well uh yeah definitely the mirrors going on um what else are we seeing seeing the video on tiktok yeah tons of stuff no portal axles larius says that would have been cool right portal axles on it bucks rc world gonna be a sweet bronco uh oh i just lost something just went out i hope we're not about to lose power again Something changed in my background. So uh, the questions then are, what are price points going to be? If this is a hard body, and when I've seen more pictures, it looks like it. There was a video that was out for a little while that was the actual product video that people had links to somehow that was like unlisted, but like fully watchable. And so I heard that, but I was out comping during most of this. Uh, Matthew Copeland says uh, ABS body by chance. Good to see. Good to see scale details. I'm curious. I wonder. Um. So Mr. Jeep Cherokee says 1998 Jeep Cherokee. That's a nice looking Jeep Cherokee, by the way. I've seen it, and it's a hard body, and has a 180 motor priced at 159. Right. So you guys saw this too. Everybody's seeing everything. All right, Tra Trailer Trash says, I'm just here for the EXP news. Picking up a Trax a Sledge tomorrow. I'll be pissed if Armor comes out with something crazy. Right? Tank RC, what's going on? Um, Heavy Metal just dropped a new low C5 video. We'll have to check that out later. Yeah, so, so like I said, details for this are popping out everywhere. I go back to uh, the Facebook page. And uh, Lee had posted stuff in here with specs, um, detailed. So he's got this. I don't know where. It says available April 22nd. Red, gray. So there's gray and blue. T1, T2, T3. And worm gear still. So they, they say that's a feature. I think it is for the crawlers. I don't mind worm gear. Some people hate them. I think in these crawlers, the worm, gear, the worm gears were great. So, I, you know, I don't have any issue with it. Um, steel channel C uh, steel C channel chassis frame, man, that's tough to say, uh, scale interior with driver, uh, detailed scale Ford Bronco hard body. So there it is. Hard body, um, ABS. Yes. Highly detailed ABS hard body, um, indoor outdoor trails. It is going to be awesome guys. That is wicked. So I just got home from a comp. I was up at um, Crawler Space RC doing their uh, gentleman's comp and uh, having a blast, actually. And so here you can see some of the other stuff we posted on the RC Conspiracies group. Just kind of wondering about it. And when this came out, I was actually getting the feeling something was brewing. I, I didn't know why. I just kind of was feeling it. The, the SCX24 Deadbolt went on a crazy sale. Get it for 100 bucks. And I'm like, man, does that mean something might be coming? And then lo and behold, this. I can tell you guys I'm not up late working on a video for this. I know Roadside RC, if he's watching, 
uh, is always saying, well, you've got one on your desk now, don't you? No, I do not. So, um, yeah, I don't get it at all, Troy. <laughs> uh, and I'm finding out about this with all y'all. So, uh, definitely an interesting, interesting turn of events today. And in fact, this is Rose NRC it says longer than I thought. Um, it looks to me like it's just going to be this. Um, I don't know. It looks like the C10 slash Jeep length to me, but I could be wrong. Um, has anybody seen lengths or anything like that listed? Probably 149 if it's a hard buddy. I think it's more because the the Lexan ones with the Gladiator were already 159. So you take into account that it has those extra scale details. Plus, if you look at the pictures, there's a rear wheel on the back. So you get a fifth wheel and tire with this. That's pretty cool. And so it's it's um it's not poorly priced from what they were saying. I've heard is the 159. Uh, like 10 bucks more than the gladiator you get an extra wheel tire hard body you get lights in the light buckets instead of just the bumper like that's amazing that i i wish that had been with all of them you know put the lights in the in the body instead of the bumper but um yeah 133 millimeter okay very cool wheelbase is five point 112 inches jeff brown okay so he's got an email all right so yeah so there's definitely stuff hitting the internet and going crazy with that the other thing that i wanted to look at and the page is gone so we'll go back to the youtube so we'll see our driver and this tip was given to me actually i saw this jtrc sent me a link or a picture of this and said dude check it out and over on RC Driver, we see this picture. And I'm going by the size of the desk and things he's had on the desk before. I don't think it's a fifth scale. Like, uh, it's, it definitely says EXB on the box. We see that. But um, I, I don't think that it's a, a large scale, like, typhon or or whatever they already did the tlr tune typhon uh, being an exb i think that it's gonna be something in that range whether it's um I, don't, I mean i don't know i would think like maybe a ready to run creighton but i'm not sure and the timing of that would be kind of spectacular for arma if it is with the release of the sledge and they can talk about the um, the 7075 aluminum versus the T6061 and all that, or whatever the numbers are. I'm, I'm going crazy. What is the 1130 here? Um, been a long day of working editing. I got more to do. Got changes and stuff to that. Do I see any body clips? Oh, let's, let's go back and take a look at that. That's a good question. Um, 180 motor is going to be interesting if true. I did see something about 180 motor. Um, it would be nice to have a little bit more power with these things. Um, has light buckets in the front and rear in the body. Okay. I maybe left this a little too early. I'm back to the comments here. Let's 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 back this up. We're right here. We haven't we haven't left it too far. Um Full ball bearing, bearings, four link suspension, lights and molded lenses. Okay. Front and rear solid axle housings, which is not scale to a Bronco, but it works good for crawlers, RC crawlers. So, yeah, it looks good. I really like it. I haven't seen the other stuff that I heard about. I was out uh, driving around crawling and stuff like that and having fun with RCs. Um, EXB ball pin. <laughs> I don't see, I mean, I don't see body clips on any of these pictures. I'm going to guess they did what they did with the 
gladiator and did the the mount in the back that flips with velcro in the front that's my guess they did all this work to make it this scale i think that is what they did which is amazing for 124 scale i'm super excited about that and uh yeah Somebody's asking if they're copying Traxxas with the Bronco, but they'd be copying New Bright. They'd be copying um, Tamiya. Lots of people have the Bronco. Ford's like just, um, how do I politely say that? Uh, they're just giving this out to anybody that wants to pay for licensing is what it seems like. So, um, yeah. I was thinking street corners late at night, that kind of stuff. But I, I pulled back from being saying too much about that. All right, so let's see what people at RC Driver think about this. What's in the box? 12S Arma tank, not going to be. A 1.8 scale box, I agree. That 1.7 scale, 1.8 scale. Um, it rubs the 500K silicone on its gears or else it gets the motor spray again. All right. I say it's an EXP fire team. I don't think so. Um, what's in the box? Nothing. EXP narrow. Nope. That's not going to happen. New outcast. Nah. Somebody thinks one fifth Titan, maybe. X Max competitor, one fifth scale truggies. Aren't it? I don't think so. Box isn't tall enough. Uh, what do you guys think? Not going to be a, um, I don't think it's going to be a monster truck. I mean, I would love a 1.8 scale like monster truck. Like do the narrow, but do it as, just do the granite. Do it 1.8 scale. Be awesome. I was going to say whoring it out, only not pimping it out. <laughs> uh, yes, trailer trash. That's one. <laughs> uh, oh, don't forget what day tomorrow is with all these new products. April Fool's Day is coming. Oh, snap. An EXB granite one eight scale or seven scale would be legit to me. It's not, I don't think that's what it's going to be. I think they're going to do a ready to run. I think probably the outcast did well as a, an EXB ready to run. I think it's, it was odd that they did the Creighton or they did the Talion instead of the Creighton right away as an EXB. Uh, ready to run so i mean i could be completely wrong but that's kind of what i would lean toward um or maybe a mojave ready to run it looks too wide based on the length in my opinion to be that um because the mojave is kind of tucked i don't know I mean, it's just guessing based on a brown box with EXB written on it at this point. Could be anything. Could be a new truck. But um, Creighton 4S is coming back. I don't think this this looks bigger than that. <laughs> a Barbie Basher EXB with machine guns and girls in bikinis. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Mohaten, the Mojave Creighton, the Mohaten. <laughs> Jeff Brown says a sledge copy. Oh, God, you guys are cracking me up. A nitro powered felony. It could be like a felony or something. It could be, could it be a, a limitless EXP? It was already a roller. People are just, you know, running those things super fast. Would they do that as an EXP? Just put a different chassis and bracing on it and a few things. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, I think it's a 10 pack of Arma 24 scale rigs. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Like a limitless version 2 point version 2. Yeah. I'm curious. I mean, RC Driver is the only one teasing about this right now. Unless you guys have seen it at like RC Dude 81 or RC Thunder, maybe would get something like this. I think he's level right now, guys. Like he should be getting some of these new armas out the gun um, to test for you all. 
he thrashes him. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, but, I mean, what makes the most sense to me, and, w I mean, I honestly, I had a Creighton EXB, and it sat in the box for months, and then I just sold it. Because... I personally didn't have the time to finish it out and just basically put in the, the very basic stuff um, to finish it and get it running. And then later on, a couple months after that, I just bought the ready to run um, non EXP, which has been fine for me. I've, you know, I've had a blast with it. Very little of any issues with it as a, uh, as a ready to run truck, not the EXP even no, no uh, broken anything on it. Now I say that, I'm knocking the wood harder this time because after I said I didn't ever have any diff issues with an Arma, I went and blew something in the rear end of my Mojave. So, it's an April Fool's gift from Arma, says J.D. Passel. Maybe RC Driver is really messing with us. <laughs> they sent this truck straight to him after fanboying over the sledge. I don't think he's fanboying. Greg's pretty up and up on all his stuff. Um, yes, it is RC driver, Ben. Um, and he was honest about his too. He said that he kind of thought it, there was a light, a slight bend, but he wouldn't really call it a bend. You know, maybe a piece of paper or something could get under the ruler. Uh, he mentioned the batteries popping out. If you didn't put the thing, the pins in and a couple other little things that he had issues with. Um, but, he also gave it a pretty good beating from the video, um, the straightaway one that I saw. It was pretty cool. Um, XRC World, Greg, Greg has great bash spots. Yes. Um, a one-fifth Typhon EXB. That would be cool because it could fit into a box-ish that big, maybe a little bigger. It's hard to say. Joey Carlson, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but I want to. I'll be honest, guys. I've been very impressed with the sledge. Um, when I saw the Kevin Talbot video of it getting absolutely just thrown through the air like they were doing, intentional no nose dives and all that, it was pretty impressive that he didn't break any arms. Um, but, yeah, I mean... It, it was pretty impressive, but there's high expectations at that price point. The amount that I've seen the motor moving, considering this whole new thing to keep the motor from flexing, it's not flexing, but it's actually the whole mount is moving um, and sliding, which I really haven't had issue of that with any of my Arma motors, actually just the whole motor mount sliding off like that. Maybe the pinion would come off, but not the whole mount moving like that one is doing. Um, that couple with the bending, you know, that that is an issue that they said they have, you know, they solve, but it doesn't appear to be solved um, based on the several that I've seen that have slight bent. The tire's blowing up. That's, um, I know that uh, Mark Santa Maria said, well, I had put 15 runs on it. And I'm thinking, my trucks, I never change the tires on my basher trucks. I mean, they're bald and I don't have them blowing up, blowing up like that. That's a problem. Like, for how much tires cost to replace that, I mean, that's an issue. So for somebody that literally gets his trucks and drives them stock and just keeps driving them stock for a long time, there's a lot of problems to address. The servo being replaced by several people are being so slow, which is another fixed thing. The, the price is the only thing that I have an issue with. I think the durability is pretty awesome for the arms and all that. But then I start wondering, like, what if we just get RPM uppers? Like if they just made a plastic upper and and um, steering link for Arma trucks, and then get rid of the the turnbuckles if people really think that's a uh, a downside is having adjustable ones. That is a pretty cheap thing to replace. And you know, if you bought your Creighton like I did for four hundred fifty bucks, for five hundred fifty bucks, you could have a pretty durable basher that gets a slight bend in the chassis, just like the sledge does. So. It's one of those things where it's like, mm, and now we've got this coming out. So we'll see what this is going to be. <laughs> Somebody says they can see my box. No, nah, it's, it's covered. It's behind this ping pong table over here. So 
out of you. No, I'm kidding. I don't have one. <laughs> um, I've got to get to my solid axle monster trucks anyway. Jeff Brown says Greg is a solid guy. Yeah, I talk to him a lot, and um, I really like, I value his opinion. Uh, he's brutally honest, and um, yeah. So I I, I dig what uh, what he says. I His videos are the ones that I always go to to watch in a new car. If I really want to know whether or not I should buy it, I watch his videos, so. Dirty South Racing says solid axle monster truck trying to tell y'all. Nah, it doesn't look you really can't see the the height of it, but it doesn't give, based on the bench, the appearance that it would be a very tall box, which you'd need for that. It looks like it'd be slimmed box. Not like, you know, monster trucks have pretty tall boxes. And based on this, looking at the edging of it over by the TV, I don't I don't feel like it does. Um, only time got to replace tires is if I get a tear from rocks and then it has to get shredded. Um, the only tires I ever really have to replace are on like the, uh, felony and the infraction. Cause I just burn them up looking to get a 4s basher. What should I get 4s? Um, in the 4s realm, I would say, well, the, the Traxxas Max is wicked good. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. There's not really other ones out there, a whole lot of them right now. Um, the Red Cat Kaiju is good. It's it's more inexpensive if you want cheaper in 4S. It's a 6S vehicle, but I think it's best on 4S. Yeah, Peter Yudica, that's what I'm saying. Um, he blown two tires. And they still have decent tread on them, 15 to 20 bash session. I've driven my Senton and Rustler for two years on stock tires. Exactly. So that's what it is. Raquel says, I tell you, EXB Nero. That would be salt in the wound. If they just brought back the Nero with the name and uh, got rid of the lay down shocks, whatever, and just made a monster truck truggy uh, and brought back the Nero, that would be, I mean... That would be Will Smithing uh, them. That's what I would say. That would be a Will Smith move right there. What's going on, Jeep and Realtor? Uh, Crones and Crawlers just got a, a slash 4x4 VXL foreign grounds for me. You know, the other thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't actually get into um, the title and everything and I'm, I might have mentioned it in the description. I'm not sure. Let's talk about this for a second. Um, is we're going over to Traxxas. They have upgraded their lineup, a lot of it. So um, now, whoops, they have a bunch of them that come with LED lighting. So you can get the Bandit, but now it has LED lights in the bumper. Small, but cool upgrade i mean the fact that they're doing that they're they're making it a little bit cooler um comes with the id battery and charger um bumps up the price to 240 xl5 New LED lighting, new two-tone wheels, includes battery and charger. 240. Okay, it was 220. Now savings is 189 for the old version without the lights. Uh, that's a big savings. I hadn't seen that because when you get sent to it from the email, you don't see the pricing comparisons. So it actually went up in price by $20 for the LED lights. 
probably an upgrade that didn't cost 20 bucks. So it's just a little more they're able to make off it. Probably because instead of just increasing the price of the vehicle because of inflation that's going on right now, they've added something while they've increased the pricing. So it doesn't feel as bad. And that, I mean, that's good. I mean, it's like we're seeing with the potato chips. So instead of increasing the price of potato chips, they're just putting fewer in the bag. Um, so the price stays the same, but you get less. Uh, Gatorade did the same thing. So yeah, Stampede is now 240 with lights. But the Bigfoot one is 270 with lights. And I'm pretty sure I paid like 240, 250 for that without lights. And that doesn't make sense for doing the lights. It's like they just have one kit. It would have been way cooler if they had done it up in the light bar. All right. So we won't we won't stay on that too long. The other thing that they did do is they um they have a new gearbox that you can get in some of these as well the magnum i think is what it's called yeah so here you can get like the revo or no the rustler but it's got a a better um magnum aluminum motor plate all metal internal gears and that so you can get a metal gear um transmission in it basically for a little bit more so a few upgrades in, in their lineup over at Traxxas as well. Um, but the last thing that I really wanted to talk about was the Fear Tech. So let me get over to the comments because I've been looking at this stuff real quick. Um, where are you guys at? Uh, Mets, wow, that's a sweet little upgrade. Uh, Jeep and Realtor loves it when they uh, the RTR come with nice LEDs. I, I like that they added it to the SCX24 as well. Bring back the Armor Raider. That would be cool. I actually have one right there. That little blur up in that corner is an Armor Raider XL. Red and white. I got it from JTRC even. Um, the light kit for my wrestler and my son's is awesome. They were, they were not available. Now they are. Yes, that's true, Peter. Um, so Alex caught it, I think, before I did. Not really a fan of what Traxxas is doing with the LEDs. Yeah, it's cool, but then the price jumps up, and then all the old versions got discontinued. Yeah, I think, uh, unfortunately, I think it's a market thing, and so they're finding a way. You know, the price is going to have to go up, but how do you make it look like there's a good reason. So even though it has to go up, we're also giving you LEDs. Um, but that sale price was wicked. 189 for the bandit. You can make a, a drag truck out of that. What's up, Bull Gear? Uh, skills to the max. I just bought an Arma Fire team today. What's coming next? I don't know, man, but the Arma Fire team is pretty awesome. Um, the Jeep and realtor says he's okay with the 20 to 30 bucks for the uh, OEM light system. I don't mind it if it's a good light system. Um, I know that I paid extra for it on my max and it didn't last two runs because it, the body cut it, the wires, the way that it is wired. Uh, I'm, I don't love LEDs in general because of that. Plus it's for filming as a bunch of you get a lot of weird lens flares in that with them coming at the camera, and I don't love that. Uh, so most of mine, if it comes with lights on, I'll keep them, but usually I don't I don't go for it. RC Athletes, what's up, man? Uh, shipping costs are going through the roof. Yeah, from China, getting stuff over. I'm sure. Lyle, RC Athletes, I said your name. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so that's the thing. I mean, I'm I'm not for or against LED lighting, and I get the reason. And at the same time, you know, instead of just raising prices, they did add a feature as well. So 
you know, with the price of the shipping containers going up and the different things, you know, it's going to get passed on to the consumer at some point. So at least they did, you know, for them, LED lighting is probably very, very inexpensive to get. You think about how cheap you can get LED stuff if you're building it yourself. Um, so I think that, I think it's a good, I think it's a fair trade. It's, I'm not saying it as a negative. Prices are going to go up. We, we're seeing it across the board. Arma had to raise their prices. Um, everybody's been raising their prices. Traxxas is finally bringing them up a little bit, but they're also throwing in LEDs. So that's a good thing. All right. So let's get to it. Um, I'm going to jump back to the Facebook here. I just need to find the photo. Talk about this guy here. Wow, we do have a bunch of people watching this late. That's crazy. So this is something I haven't been able to show you guys. And I don't actually have clearance to show you guys either yet. But I'm guessing because the, well, the cat's out of the bag, thanks to Furitech, they're talking about this thing. And they've already got uh, some, like basically a flyer for it, which we're going to pull up here in a second. But I've been bashing this little guy for months. And it's awesome. <laughs> That's all I got to say. This was the first way that I drove. This is the prototype Godzilla motor. And their um, Rocket Man transmission is in this thing from the get-go. That's how I got it. It's not going to focus, but you guys can kind of see the red and the black in there. Um, and it's wicked. So it's based on a... And this is actually a, a 3D printed at this point still... Um, transmission mount this is what we actually ran here it's in the element this is an actual pro uh production one and we're running these in our tiny gap and it builds uh rc amigos and i got these and this fits with the element rc um the rgt and i believe the atlas by fms runs this same uh type of transmission mount or skid plate uh the difference is that instead of having the typical transmission mount for the element or the RGT, it has a mount for an SCX24 transmission, which is what this is running. So they can have their same transmission from their Komodos and all that beefed up more, of course, and run it as and I'm running brushless on this. You can, I'm just showing this one cause you can see it better. Um, but their mount is actually an upright, this huge red piece in the middle. Maybe I can get this to focus. I don't know. Let's see. Will it? Oh, there it is. We'll do this for a second. So in there, you can see the upright. And this one was out of carbon fiber. That's what they were cut out of in the initial. Um, this is not running at all. The setup that they did for um, the final release, which we'll look at in a minute for the axles, but it was running their own version of um, basically they redid the axle to be able to put the, the servo on axle. And then it also allowed it to do the dual shocks. Now you can see the weird angles of the shocks on mine. One goes straight, one goes at an angle. They fixed that in the new version. They, you can see where it has to come inward to catch. And that's why they redid the way that they did it. Um, so it's going to be cool. They also, <laughs> I've been describing this version, this early version, as kind of like a sixties fastback looking sports car because the, um, the cab of it sits a little bit far back. That's been remedied in the newer one. And the cab sits a little bit more forward here. And so like the back of it is more traditionally on a monster truck, the back of the, uh, the cab would be almost center of the truck. And so it, it moves it forward. If you look at the new pictures, which we're going to look at in a minute, it's all out there already. The new cab sits about here, the back of it. So, and then forward is where the cab, uh, the windshield sits up more and I can't get this in here in here you'll see anyway 
So this was prototype. A couple things that I noted to them and said, hey, these haven't gone to production yet. Because when you actually put these bodies on and you look where the um, the cab sits on it, it doesn't really line up. So it needed to go forward in order for truck bodies to fit. Um, but yeah, those are some small things. But they got a lot right with this. And you'll see in the uh, the final drawings how they've fixed those things and they've made it. It didn't affect the handling for what I, I was using. This thing was a backflip monster. And this motor was super fast because it's running the ring and pinion in the uh, axles. So you can spin them, which you can't do with like the SCX24 really because of the worm gears don't just free spin like this. Um, so that's... I mean, this thing was so fast. Wheelies, backflips, everything. You took the same motor in 2S and you put it in the SX24 and those worm gears had like crazy gear reduction and it wasn't fast. So I was shocked when that happened and we I got the, the Godzilla motor for my SX24 builds and it was like, ooh, it's not what I thought it was. It's not, it's not very fast. Okay, thank you. Black Venom Radio Control, $10 Super Chat says, I just figured it out. It's that Arma NASCAR build they've been sponsoring. That would be cool. I would pay for that. Yes, I would. Hey, Lee, I got your jump in the mail yesterday. Thank you very much, man. Little SCX24 monster truck jump he sent me. Super cool. going on sparky mtb <laughs> bogier said he has enough broncos i don't have one yet i'm excited about it i really want to see what that hard body's like the price point isn't super crazy to get into because i was talking about i'm not going to be buying every new thing that comes out um and i just i just can't afford to right now and uh yeah Good evening, Jeff Walter. Paul Clancy. Um, JD Pascal's getting another Wendigo. Very cool, man. All right. Thank you, Jeep and Realtor. Have a great night, man. Uh, Matthew Copeland, what's your favorite about the FearTech truck that I've been running? Um, well, it's been super durable. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I had to put ECB uh, wheels on it because it runs a bigger axle stub that comes out. And so it has a bigger nut. And you couldn't get the nut or the drivers in for any of the other wheels that I tried. So the ECB has a nicer, large opening in there that I could actually get in there and put these on. Just that's something to note uh, for anybody that might be building for these in the future that having that little extra room in there has been very beneficial in getting these wheels onto this particular build. Um, it just handles good. It's, it's kind of, you know, when I looked at it, it's like it's kind of interesting with the shocks, but they're actually, you know, you look at them, and they just look cheapy and plastic. Um, but they actually, they feel pretty good on here. I was surprised, you know, there's not oil filled, but they, they soaked things up really well. Um, I like that I could do backflips. I could do moonwalk with it, uh, backflip to moonwalk. I did with it first night, even that I got it, I was doing stuff that I was doing with my LMT in the house. Um, Mine I had to rig up, so my batteries mounted up top here. I just kind of, they didn't have this, so I just kind of found and zip-tied in my battery tray because there wasn't one in here. And then just kind of stuck the electronics down at an angle into here. And I had my receiver. It's actually pulled out at the moment. It's in my tiny gap in a build. Um, but it was just stuck, double-sided tape to the side of the chassis. So let's look at the, let's look at it while we're talking about it. I've missed a few comments here. Yes, um, Mofo RC has some MT wheels and tires coming out soon. Hopefully, they will fit onto these chassis for people as well and these axles. I don't know if he's test fitted his to 
RGT axles yet or Element RC axles because the wheel nuts are bigger. In fact, I should I should send him a text message about that to test it and see um, because he 3D printed designed wheels in that Ford. And maybe that's something that'll have to be aftermarket to fit his tires because his tires look awesome. Mo4RC has awesome products, guys. In fact, his chassis um, is really wicked too, guys. So if you're wanting to just get, you can literally put this setup and that's what I plan to do. Actually, I have another chassis that I plan to put this into. I can pull this right out of here with this brushless motor on it with this side plate and it wouldn't fit into most because it sticks out the side of the chassis. But he has big hole cutouts to allow for the motors to stick out of the chassis on his. And uh, so you can get speed with it without having to do that upright motor mount that we're going to see in this Furitech in just a second. So let me pull this up while we're sitting here. It's awesome. I was really excited when I saw it. They didn't tell me that they were going to be releasing them yet or soon or whatever. It's been on kind of hold because of stuff going on over in uh, China with uh, where they have it built, I guess. So that's a cool build. I like that a lot. Um, lots of stuff happening in here. Am I in the right one? Oh, Ryan Anderson um posted this in fact i've got these wheels right here as well that he's running in his so ryan anderson if you don't know it is the uh, driver of son of a digger monster truck son of dennis anderson of uh grave digger fame um done a lot for the that whole family's done so much for the monster truck world uh but anyway this is a wheel you get off of etsy and tire and it came shipped you can choose your ring color and the wheel color and they'll print them that way and put the tires on them for you they're squishy um and they're not rubber but they're about as good as the, the amt tires i'll say that uh, but for 3d printed they're pretty awesome anyway ryan anderson had this going i'd send him a bunch of stuff he was trying to get this built while he's working um on it with his son while his son is in town and uh we're doing this with him so uh or he's in town from racing and all that and he's hanging out with his son they, he's got some time off right now and so they're building these and um uh, i sent him a body i uh i vacuum formed a body for him so this is the only body i actually got to work in lexan and it didn't work perfectly but it'll be nice and tough for him so this here is what i've been trying to get to um, this is the FureTech chassis, and you can see here how much more forward that the cab is now compared to this. Um, so this this line right here almost comes right to this corner on this one. It's, it's quite a bit back, so it'd be up here more going to this corner. So it moves forward quite a ways, um, which I think looks a lot more scale uh, for design. They're limited what they can do with design because of the, the way that the links and all that on this work. They're much shorter links, um, and they spread a lot wider. So, um, yeah, but this, the, these definitely look a little, they look straighter to me in the way that these mount because they redid this way that they mounted the um the servo on here with this bracing instead of doing it they were building the axle to be able to hold this but now they've made this metal plate that goes on instead and i think it's genius to do it that way because in the rear they do it as well and you could add in rear steer if you want by um getting a, a, a front axle to put back here the other thing that they've done is they've done a pinion full metal ring and pinion gear in the axles which is huge if you watch the tiny gap in a build off uh pablo was just destroying his ring and pinions so when you put power to it like these brushless motors do eventually you're going to just destroy it especially if you're trying to go from backflips into reverse to do moonwalks and all that kind of stuff now i had no issue with mine um mine's been awesome so um, I think it could probably only get better. 
maybe a little louder. Um, so it's a kit. I don't know all that comes in the kit. I'm hoping that what you see here is what you get. But again, I haven't been told there's no pricing on this yet. I mean, my hope would be, you know, some people are saying it's going to be pushing LMT prices because when you build these, they cost about LMT prices. Uh, 600 bucks I have into some of mine. Um, and you're already looking, if you get this Rocket Man and the Lizard, you're almost looking at 170 to $200 just for the transmission, motor, and the ESC for these. Um, so then how much more is this going to be? Normally, the FureTech chassis run about 70 bucks. Then you've got axles and plates and all this. I'm hoping, and I don't know what they're going to come in, but I hope that they come in under 350 bucks. That would be my hope. Above that, it gets a little dicey and whether or not people will invest in it is my opinion. The question is quantities. Can they make it in these quantities or whatnot? I don't know. Um, do the holes make it lighter? Part of it is for making it lighter. Part of it is because they know that people may not want to use these um, links. They may want to use other links and to keep it in this, um, this scenario of where the links mount for this current setup. That's part of it. Um, because you can see how short the upper links are of the stock one here. So they had to bring the chassis out this far just to get those links in. But if you wanted to use SCX 10 links, which are longer, you wouldn't want the, the axle to stick way out in the front of the truck out here. So you'd use those longer links, but you'd mount them in further in back. Um, so that's it. That's a lot of it. Um, some of it was space saving. And um, yeah, a lot of it's just to give options. If you change shocks or do different things. But a lot of it gets covered. What I would do is I'd put a body over it. The second you put the body over it, you get rid of most of them anyway. So you're not really drawn. Your eyes aren't drawn to it. Uh, and then if you do sponsor plates on the bottom, which I hope people will come out with, then you won't even see even more of them. So maybe I'll come out with sponsor plates. I don't know. I don't have anything to cut them. <laughs> so that's the, the issue with that. Uh, upper left. No one should spend LMT price on these. Get an LMT and go outside. Yeah. Um, it's tough to go outside here in the winter and run them. And you break them a lot more. I hope it's not LMT prices. LMT prices. Yeah. would be 600 bucks so hopefully i mean this still don't have wheels tires receivers all that so we'll see um but yeah not everybody can run an lmt where they're at so that's the, the question mark uh do you think they have future ideas for link shops shocks hop ups are they planning on wheels and tires i wonder no, I think the wheels and tires are going to be, we're going to be looking at MoFo for those, uh, which I think is good for him too. So um, they were just trying to get the kit together. And if, if MoFo brings stuff to market, then that'll, that'll answer that problem. Um, the, the only th other thing it needs really is the receiver and the radio. And I just found on Super Drake's RC a receiver I could get to go with my Element or my low C Mini B radios that I have that I'm not using anymore for the all-in-ones. Well, they make a receiver, somebody does, it's from Amazon, that will bind to those and then you can use those. And that's what I plan to use for mine. Um, other than that, the, the hop-ups would be shocks. You could get the hot racing. But I honestly I honestly think these shocks work pretty good for this truck. So, um, it still has decent, I mean, articulation and all that, even with the way that this thing's set up and the short links on it. So, uh, pretty curious about that. Pretty cool. Hey, 
Hey, do you remember the name of that Super Drake's RC about that? Um, I know it was in our uh, our Instagram. I just went and literally bought one yesterday. I think it was. But I'm excited about them coming out. I think we're spending a lot of money. Custom is always more expensive. Um, Upper Left RC is saying Micro Monster Trucks are cool, but not $600. Cool. Um, they're fun for a few minutes. It can be used to make fun short clips. Uh, that can be said about any monster, any RC car. Um, I've run mine a ton um, because of weather here. So um, I get mine out whenever I need a break from work. That kind of stuff, I just throw it down. And I mean, I've got ba batteries charged for these micros. You could ask Jeff Brown. I've got a whole uh, fireproof bag of them. I've probably got 15 batteries, something like that, 12 to 15 of the mini batteries. I mean, you think about it, you get one with every car and how many cars I have of these. You could do, and I've priced it. I did one of them for about 400 bucks, 350 to 400. I didn't change the axles. They weren't. Uh, metal axles i stuck with the stock links um 3d printed the chassis and um i did have to get shocks but i got the ones from amazon for like under 20 bucks um and then i just did the 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 simple motor so the most expensive part of that was the uh the esc i got the lizard esc it wasn't the pro and I think it was 60 bucks for that. So 60 plus 15 for the motor. Went on the stock motor mount. I did the 0.5 mod gears. So that was 60, 75. So say 15 for the mod gears. That's um, five. That's 70. That's 80 bucks. And then um, a $10 Emacs servo. I cut off the plastic so I didn't have to do new ones of that. I did do new links, so that was 15, so that's 105. Uh, wheels and tires, I did have to buy those, so that was another 50. Let's say 100, 165, say we're sitting at, plus buying a truck. Um, if you could get the good deal on it, that was 100 bucks recently. You could be in it for about 250 bucks ish, if I'm doing my math right, Two, 265. So, um, but the LMTs and stuff, I got a thousand dollars into plus. So it's, it's all relative and you know, the LMT starts at 600, but then you keep busting axles and then you buy the $300 axles. Now you're in a $900 truck, um, upgrade the servo for 130 bucks, 1030, uh, get the pro line wheels and tires. You're looking at another 120 bucks or something like that. So, um, 12 11 50 1200 bucks you know just same deal it all adds up so it's you know double the price of one of these however you want to look at it it all gets expensive we'll just say that <laughs> um in case you missed it, it's the same as the 176 brands rc's turbo racing okay turbo racing that was it Turbo Racing ESC worked with the Element RC, and it would probably work with the the low C Mini B ones that come with that same style radio, is my guess. Um. So yeah, it all gets expensive. Jeff Brown thinks I'm crazy. I know it. He owns a hobby shop, and he says how he has, you know, three RCs of his own. Um. I don't own one, and I uh, I spend way way too much. <laughs> On them all the time. So, but anyway, it always comes down to custom. Anytime you have to buy things that aren't made in large quantities, the cost goes up. Um, Jeff Brown got the little guy order in tires and foam inserts, little guy racing at reaction RC hobbies. There you go. Uh, we did talk about the new SCX 24 Bronco. 
Um, I'll just revisit it again. I think it's really cool um, from what I've seen. And what I've seen is only what people have shared. <laughs> uh, I don't have one. And uh, I think that's cool. I don't, I don't think that I, I should get every new RC. Here we go. Here's somebody else. KTM Hobby is posting it. $159.99. If you guys want, a, a cool way you can help with the channel is um, if you don't have a local hobby shop, because you always should shop local first. That's the best way to support the hobby is to shop at your local shops, keep them going, keep them uh, getting new people involved in the hobby and uh, everything moving forward. Uh, if you don't have a local shop, if uh, you live in the middle of the sticks, um, one of the ways you can help is tomorrow we'll be posting links for this. And if you use those links, it helps me. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, so there, there's a, a shameless plug for you. Um, oh yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a post up somewhere and we'll have that, but always, 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 you'll get it first. If you get it from your local hobby shop, that's the way to do it. So here's a local hobby shop, KTM hobby saying, $159.99. Awesome price. Wow, zooming in isn't helping with that. I want to zoom in on the picture. Oh, hey, there's this little button I missed. How did I never know that existed? Um, yeah, so ABS hard body, awesome. First SCX24 hard body, RTR, so cool. Um it's not independent suspension like a real one, but, you know, I get it. That would be tough to do. They've already got all this stuff out on the market. It helps keep costs down. That's what we all want, right? Low cost. Uh, I'm sure some people will try to figure out ways to do independent suspension, and that'll be awesome. Um, dynamite brushed motor. Somebody was saying it was a 180 motor. I'm not seeing that saying it here. Dynamite's what was used in the last ones, but somebody had said there was a 180 motor. Um, if if anybody knows where they saw that, let me know. I'm curious where that, that little uh, tidbit came from because I think I even quoted that earlier that had a 180 motor, but I don't see it listed in these talking points here. Uh, full ball beer bearings. Lights and molded lenses. So even the front headlights have lights in them, which is super cool. They've got all the extra um, accessories on the top. The actual sand rails come off and you can put them down and drive over it. They had the full run video of this thing from Axial accidentally leaked. It was hidden, but somebody had the hidden link and it's, it got passed around and everybody was watching it. And I think they had that using the sand rails in that um so i think i saw a picture of that from the video um worm gears already we've seen that yeah i mean it looks awesome 160 is not a bad price given the hard body given the extra led lightings given that it has the accessories on the top roof rack all of those things i think it's pretty cool it's going to have the new receiver and radio in it which should make it smooth if it does have a bigger motor, I'm all for that. I know, upper left, I see it too. When is Traxxas going to do a 124th? I wish they would. Maybe they'll shock the world and they'll do the first 124th ready to run monster truck. Wouldn't that be something? What I mean, think about that. Like they're late to the game with the 124th crawlers, but they maybe they've seen some of the monster trucks and they're like, we're going to corner that market. We got Bigfoot on hand. Let's do this thing. That would be cool. But they might do like somebody was saying here with the Latrax and use the Latrax for that. That wouldn't be as cool. Nope. Solid axle. Oh, yeah. Super Drake script with the early Bronco 74. Miss it. Buying the blue one. Cool. Axial has definitely proven that this segment makes money. Jeff, does, um, does the SCX24 make money? I think so. Uh-oh. 
Jeff has all four colors of the Scythe chassis in now. Um, that makes like six I need to buy out. I don't want anybody else using them because I do so well with mine at the comps that I don't want everyone else doing as well. So I need to buy all of the ones that he has on hand. Um, is the Armin act actual release? I think based on the video, that would have taken way too much work to make it a tease. Same SCX24, just a Bronco version. That's it-ish, except hard body. And um, lights, light buckets, that's new. It doesn't look like it has body clips, so that's cool. Um, yes, they did. And the video is now marked as private, but I bet at midnight or so it will be back. Well, it's already midnight here. What is my favorite color or my favorite crawler? Ooh, 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 ooh. man. You know, my VS 410 pro is my favorite and I haven't been comping it cause I changed the body on it and it's so cool, but it doesn't have good approach angles with that long Lloyd body on it. Um, really fun joke, really cool looking, doesn't comp well now. I think I need to redo it as a, a comp crawler and do a different type of body for it. Um, because I really like how it runs. Uh, other than that, I would say my Ecto. Um, I really, 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 really like the Element RC Ecto a lot. Like for the cost of it to the, the Vanquish, it's pretty impressive. um upper left that would blow the market up in a big way <laughs> i agree traxxas will do a tiny gap in it 124th i'm gonna copyright that name map is 160 okay gladiator's cool just not the best for comp crawler depending on the class if competition class i took third place with mine um, I did pretty decent with it, even with a brush motor in it. But if people are running the pure tech against it, the scythe, it gets tricky. Or the mofo um, ugly AF. Yeah. Or the killer chassis, all those kinds. is going to be tough. But it's a pretty decent comp crawler, at least on ours, our courses. Depending on how tight the course is. Yeah, see, Jeff Brown says fire SCX24 sales. The aftermarket's fire for them. The cost of them makes the actual sales of the trucks fire. Um, it's it's a huge market. It's the only reason that's the only type of product that I'm doing on my website right now um, because just the price of it and the amount of sales of those right now is insane. Um, and I've wanted to do products for a little while, but it just makes it like I can get stamped with my logo on the on the um the drive shafts and that's what i'm competent doing a lot of videos of anyway right now so i figured that's the way to go oh just someone just messaged me on facebook with more specs factory assembled 180 brush motor okay here's where it says let's see this 180 brush motor, servo, ESC receiver unit, AA transmitter. I really wish that the new ESC, you can see the Velcro. You can see the Velcro here. So it definitely does the hinge to the Velcro on the front. Um, I really wish that the new ESC would do the brushless motors as well to be able to plug into channel two. That's the biggest gripe I have about that new system. Um, ABS hard body molded door handles mirrored. Oh, you can see the door handles actually are molded. Okay, tire mount with a spare tire. I forgot about that. Bonus second decal sheet for more customization. Wild track wheels, trail grappler tires. Um, working lights in front, molded lenses on all four corners of the body. Doesn't say that there's working lights in the rear. Just that it's got molded lenses on all four corners. So even the rear ones are molded. That's awesome. 
And then that's most of the stuff seems the same. Jeff Brown needs more SCX, uh, CCXRC diff covers. We can make that happen. Sold out. Okay. So, yeah. All that body t detail is really nice. Costs a lot to add on. Yeah, I think so. And the fact that they kept the price so low. And look at the lines on it. Uh, just pull it down. These lines up here at the top, in he around the door frames and everything, just looks really, really detailed. I like it. I actually like this gray a lot. I'd be tempted to get the gray one. A Udamog SCX24 ready to run would be dope. I I I feel you on that one. <laughs> Bull gear. If it does have a 180 motor, maybe I'll grab one. <laughs> I'm curious what that's going to be like. So I'm waiting for all those videos to come out tomorrow that are going to be talking about that new motor and the control and the power. Because if it's got if it's got more power and more speed and still has that smooth bottom end, mm, I'm definitely getting it. I mean, it's just. Yeah. Super excited about it. Yes, that's something else to talk about. A 180 motor mount opens up a whole new world of motor options. Brushless motor options even. Will, is the MoFo Nano Beast a 180 size? Is that the size of that, what that would mount to? I'm curious. You ever run your Red Cat Gen 8 anymore? Not right now because of winter. It doesn't comp super well. We did take it up to the comp course, but it's not really a comp truck. It's a trail truck. So until we get on the trails, um, again, it, it's just been um, sitting hooked up to a trailer to tow stuff. I could make it a, a monster truck out of it. Jeff says it's white. Well, the source I said says gray. And my source is not necessarily reliable. It's just the internet. It says... Uh, here on the axial page, red, gray, or blue. But red, white, and blue would be very America. But if it's that gray, I dig the gray. Although I do like the blue. Bull gear, I like my Gen 8. I do too. I think it's a great car. However, I saw a guy today comping at um, Crawler Space RC, and he had the same bumper on the front of, as I do. I don't think he was running a Gen 8, but he was running that bumper I have on my Gen 8. And man, that thing was catching everything. That was a rock magnet. I agree, it did look white. I called it white at first. White or silver, not gray. I was off. So yeah, anyway... That's the news, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'm excited to see where all of this goes with all the different things that are going on. Very cool that there's several new exciting things in the 24 scale world from the monster truck announcement to what looks like this Bronco that we'll see tomorrow. Um, that is all over the internet at this point. Um, so I'm not saying anything that I, I received from the, the Axial or Horizon or I don't have, I mean, this is no NDA stuff for me because I, it's not information that I received to hold on to. This is information that is readily available on the internet. It stinks that it's that way. You know, you, you'd hope that they could do their clean release, um, but it's out there. We want to talk about it. And uh, again, if you guys don't have a hobby shop, I'll have some links that'll be going out tomorrow uh, morning for this once it all actually drops and is available. And uh, yeah, if you use those, it helps me. It doesn't cost you any more. We're trying to do this more full time ish. Um, I have some potential travel coming up again and not really wanting to do that a whole lot like I used to. So 
because I can't do the YouTube and the RC stuff as much. If I go back to traveling nonstop, um, doing video work. So I'm trying to make this more and more, uh, reliable for income, um, as a, you know, viable way to potentially make a small living from it. And yeah, not put a burden on anybody else. So simple ways like that guys definitely helps. And, uh, yeah, if you want to make your trucks go faster, your mini monster trucks, I do have a few of these, um, surpass rockets still in stock over my website and, uh, some other things coming soon. So thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out and, uh, we'll catch y'all next time.